How do you Java this year? In this video, we are going to learn how to bring Revit files into Unreal Engine 5. And for that reason, you need to have Revit Unreal Engine 5 and the data specific plugin for your Revit project and your for, Revit, uh, for Unreal Engine 5. To download the data speed for your CAD software, you need to search for data speed. And in here, you can get access to all of the data speeds. For example, let's go in here. In here, click on Get Plugin. And in this page, you can download the data speed plugin for your CAD software. For example, we have it for 3 Mac, SketchUp, Revit, Navisworks, and other softwares. For example, let's put it on Revit. And we want it, we want it for Unreal Engine 5 and then click on download and then when you install it you will have a new tab on your Revit data smith and then in here you have some settings for example you can change the translation or the accuracy of it the uh, default one is great and 8 is great and also you can filter some of the metadata in here that's not the big deal there then you can go to the export data smith file and then select the folder and create your data smith file for this one for example let me create a new one and let's call it data smith and click on open and now click on save and now you need to wait a little bit to make your data smith file now we have our data smith file then we need to go to the epic launcher and then we need to launch our uh, unreal engine 5 and the next step is to create a blank project and bring the data smith file in to create a blank project in DataSmith, click on blank project in here and then put it on blueprint and target platform is desktop and this is on maximum i want the ray tracing too and then I specify the place that you want to save it and then you can call it for example ue5 test and then click on create now you need to wait a little bit now and then you will have your uh, unreal engine project you can see we have a side in here to bring our data smith file we need to ensure that we have our data smith plugin active in our unreal engine file to do that go to the edit part and go to the plugins and in here search for data smith now you can see you need to click on this and then you need to click on and restart net to activate the data smith cad importer now we have our data smith cad importer activated then we need to go to the geometry part and in here we have a data smith part right now and then click on file import and go to the exact folder that you had for example in here we had and this is the data smith file that we have this was the uh, this was the data smith that we created file and then click on ok and wait and you need to specify which folder you are going to import them for example click on ok and then we have some options in here for example we have a we can specify which parts of the project that we want to import for example i want the geometry you can bring in materials and also you can bring the lights i don't want the lights so let me uncheck that and we don't have a good camera and animation in revit files so we can ignore them too and another step that i forgot to tell you about the revit part that it is better to purge your project and also delete anything that you don't want to use it in data in unreal engine for example i don't want this planet i can delete them and then we will learn how to import this and let's say we've optimized it and then we'll learn how to import this too okay that's great click on import and wait and then you will have your revit project into your unreal engine and in here let's uh, collapse this and let's delete just the landscape and not the light and all of the things let me delete these landscapes that we have in here to here let's de let delete them let's delete them and then again let's go to the left part and let's select this one and let's bring it down you can see the pivot of object is too far because you uh, it is for the internal uh, coordination of your Revit so if you want to have the exact pivot on the object you need to go and uh, bring your project down in the Revit file okay let's go to the perspective in here and let's see the results let's zoom let me increase the camera speed and let's go and see the results you can increase the camera speed or you can right click and you can click on go here and then you will go in there 
and now can you see it is great guys and then you can uh, uh, decrease the camera speed let me decrease the camera speed now we have our file in here you can see it is a real time and it is great you can bring some objects for example let's go to the windows port and let's go to the quixel bridge in here i have some local assets for example i have this material and i have this rock in here let's uh, select them and let's import all of them into our project let's click on add and then you will have them in your project that's great let's uh, close it press control space for bringing the content browser and in here click on mega scans and on surface let's assign this material that i have to here and you can see the scaling is not that right so let's go to the material for example and in here let's change the tiling let's check this part and let's change the tiling and you can see it is a better size now that's great you can do this with the other parts too for example we can go to the 3d assets and we can bring this rock that i have you can see it is a really high detail uh, mega scan file you can bring it down or you can place it other places you can rotate it i can do anything that you want or you can press they will do it again to bring it okay that's great and you can bring some other quixel bridge assets too and that's the part the other uh, important thing that i want to uh, tell you that is how to we can update this file for example let's say that our designer have changed the file and now we want to bring it into the unreal engine you need to go to the revit part again and let's say that we want to delete this uh, roof in here and uh, let's delete it or we want to delete this building in here let's delete it and now let's uh, create another data smith file again at the top of the previous one you can create another one but it is better to create the data smith file on the at the top of the previous one let's click on save and let's click on yes and now we will, go, we will learn how to re-import this after you file your dat new data smith file that is created then you could need to go to the unreal engine 5 and bring the content browser by control the space and then let's go to the content and we have our data smith file in here right click on it and then click on re-import and because we we didn't change the location of it uh it will uh, read the previous file or if you change the uh if you change the path of it you need to click on report uh with new file and it will uh, re-import with new file it will allow you to bring it from another pass let's click on re-import and then this time i don't i want to i want the same i want the same uh options uh and click on import and let's wait a little bit and now you can see we don't have the uh, a small house that we had in here but there are some problems with this method if you have a, a complex uvs for example in this part you can see the uvs is not that great and sometimes it's hard to change it in uh, unreal engine so in these times you need to bring your revit file to other softwares like 3 ds max blender and then adjust the uvs there and then you need to re-import your file into unreal engine 5 and another part is the objects you can we can say the objects of revit is not that great for example let's go in here and you can see this sofa is terrible so it is better to delete your revit objects and place the objects and most of the objects or the bigger objects that are in your cameras and you can uh, you can see them from any angle it is better to replace them with the better objects that we can bring from other softwares like 3 ds max blender and some other great formats and also please uh, comment down below if you want more videos on revit and unreal engine 5 and also make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues it will help us a lot to create more videos like this and don't forget to watch this video you can uh, select the ex best rendering engine for your Revit project.